So in this video, we'll be answering the big question, how is kudo synthesis done? All right, uh, we've spoken about kudo synthesis where we said that it was a medical procedure that sends to basically or try to what, um, um, check for abnorm abnormal fluid, all right, behind the uterus, okay? And you basically put an injection, okay, behind the uterus and kind of like try to drain this fluid out, all right? This fluid could be caused by ectopic pregnancy, it could be caused by pelvic inflammation, it could cause by many things, right? Any other thing that will make fluid to accumulate in this empty space that is found behind the uterus, okay? You use the cool the synthesis medical procedure to basically or try to drain out this fluid, okay? So how is this cool the synthesis done? All right, basically like how is the procedure done, okay? So first of all, let's define cool the synthesis before we go through the various steps in which this medical procedure is being done. So um, first of all, uh, kudo synthesis is a minimal what invasive procedure which is performed in the hospital or clinic setting. All right, it's minimal invasive. That means what? You are just putting just the needle. Okay, so there's invasion, but it's minimal. Okay, it's just minimal. All right, so it's performed in the hospital or clinic setting. So here's a step by step overview on how kudo synthesis medical procedure is done all right so preparation of course you need to prepare the patient uh so the patient will lie on their back with the feet in stirrup that's lithotomy position you know lithotomy position that's basically like the position that uh, most women will be in when they want to give birth all right they lie down with their legs up mostly they put something they hang their legs there all right so that you can be able to uh, access the vagina directly you can be able to access the pelvic region directly okay then um cleaning and dropping of the vaginal area of course you want to clean it all right you want to what uh, disinfect it so that you are not actually what uh, carrying an infection from outside into uh carry maybe some microorganisms from outside into uh the uh the area behind the uterus okay so you clean it and you drop the vaginal area the local anesthesia because this procedure is invasive and these areas are sensitive areas they are greatly supplied by nerves so you want to actually what um put an anesthesia so that at least the pain will be reduced or there will be no pain at all okay so you could use local anesthesias like what lidocaine and xylocaine all right and this is administered to the to numb the vaginal wall so that as you are putting the needle you don't have cases of shouting and um, the, the woman trying to like contract and all the stuff, okay? So you do an, an anesthesia, okay? Then insertion of the needle is what is next, okay? So everything we're talking about was just how to prepare the woman, clean everything, clean everything around and all the stuff, right? So now we've gotten to where you want to actually what insert this needle, okay? So insertion of this needle. Now a long and thin needle, which is specially made for kudo synthesis it is called a kudo synthesis needle it is inserted through the vaginal wall just below the cervix all right so now the needle is guided through the cul de sac which is a potential space between the vaginal wall and the rectum you see this is the rectum this is the anal canal right this is the vagina all right so now this space be between the rectum okay and the vagina is where you actually insert this needle all right because this space has this free space here where most fluid if there's fluid accumulation in the pelvic area it will tend to accumulate there because that place is empty okay so you insert it into the cool the sac and that's the name of the space there all right so you can see this i just brought this so that at least you guys will know all right so basically what you insert it the space between the vagina and the rectum okay that's where you actually want insert it okay and after your needle is into the area what's the next thing you do you aspirate all right to draw the needle into the um to draw the fluid into the needle so that i can drain it okay so now once the needle is in place fluid or gas is aspirated into the syringe all right I see this aspirate, right? Basically trying to like 
draw it back all right so that aspirate everything that you want to actually drain out from there so now the fluid may be sent for diagnosis testing all right testing to see if there's hemoglobin in the fluid if there's white blood cell in the fluid if there's microorganisms in the fluid do you understand then um, drainage now so now if the procedure is done to drain fluid or blood the needle may be left in place to allow for continuous drainage okay now removal of the needle that's after you've done uh, after the procedure the needle is carefully removed right now the pressure is applied to the site to prevent bleeding just the way when you take blood from the veins you kind of like use the uh, what do you call it you kind of like use the cotton wool just like press it all right so that you don't have cases of bleeding and all the stuff okay so this is still hudo synthesis right so there's fluid in cool the sac which is what the area between the rectum and the vagina okay so that's it now um post procedure care vital signs are monitored uh, pain management may be provided the patient is usually discharged on the same day with follow-up instructions and any necessary medications right so please note that cool dose synthesis is typically performed by a healthcare provider with specialized training in obstetrics and gynecology okay so don't just go to some quack out there right so guys this is how what cool dose synthesis is done right but I could also name this video like step to step uh, procedures in kudo synthesis, step to step on how kudo synthesis medical procedure is done and all this stuff, right? So that's it, guys. And bye for now.